At this point, it was the groundhog escape plan. The six prisoners took turns using screwdrivers to chip away at the wall bit by bit. Progress was slow due to the lack of proper tools, but they persevered every day as they made progress. They stored the debris in bags. At the entrance, a lookout signaled using hand gestures to ensure no guards were approaching. If the coast was clear, they would proceed to the second floor, remove the ceiling, transport the debris to the hidden compartment, and finally apply a special white paint before covering it with a poster. This process was repeated, with some digging, some transporting, and others on lookout duty. The plan proceeded smoothly, but occasional unexpected events did occur. One day, while three people were digging in a corner of the room, the lookout outside suddenly came in and informed them that the guards were on their way. The three had to hurriedly push the mattresses and debris together, use a table to conceal them, and collect scattered bricks into containers. James pretended to be reading a book. Bob pretended to be working. All preparations were in place.